Hi boys and girls. Today we're going to be making some sailboats together. Sailboats that are sailing on the water. Uh, we call this a seascape. And we're actually going to be painting some coffee filters today. So hopefully your mom or your dad or your grandma, somebody um, makes coffee in your house, drinks coffee, and if they do, they have some coffee filters, probably, unless they use a different kind of coffee machine. Um, a coffee filter looks like this. Some of you may have done this before. You may have painted coffee filters before. Uh, it's just a big white circle made out of special paper. Um, if you don't have coffee filters at home, that's okay. I'm gonna show you how you can just draw the shape of a triangle to make your sailboats sail. So that's what we're gonna use the coffee filter for. We're gonna paint it and then we're gonna cut it into triangle shapes like this and it's gonna become our sail on our sailboat. So let's get started. So the first thing we wanna do is protect our table. So it'd be a good idea to put down some newspaper or maybe a plastic tablecloth and I also have a piece of wax paper here. So if you have any wax paper, that might help also because our coffee filters, um, well, the newspaper will soak up some of the paint and water from our coffee filters if we don't have a piece of wax paper there, which is okay if you don't have it. But anyway, the next thing we wanna do is we wanna flatten out our coffee filter. Now I have two here because I'm gonna show you two ways. I'm gonna show you how you can do it with watercolor paint, and I'm also gonna show you how you can do it with marker. So the first thing I'm gonna do is show you with watercolor paint. So I have my watercolors right here, and I have a jar with water and some paint brushes, and tried to flatten that out a little bit. I'm gonna add water to my watercolor, of course. We always have to add water and I'm gonna stir. And remember last week I told you that the more you stir, the brighter and bolder your color will be? I don't know if you remember me saying that, but that's always what we wanna do with watercolor. We wanna stir, 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 and make a splashy puddle. And then I'm gonna paint on my coffee filter. Now, you can use any colors you want. I'm gonna use purple, and see how I, I put it in two different spots there? Now I'm gonna add some red. So I'm adding water to my watercolor paint, and I'm stirring. You might wanna to count to 10 when you stir. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Takes a long time, doesn't it? But that will make sure that we stir our paint long enough. All right, so I have some red there. Again, you can use any colors you want. I think next I might use some blue. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. And I'm just filling up my coffee filter with lots of, whoops, lots of fun colors. So you might wanna use pink, you might wanna use yellow, you might wanna use some green. Or I'm gonna, on this one I'm gonna stick with blue, purple, and red. So now I'm gonna show you how to do it using markers. And um, so for this, the best markers to use are your regular either Crayola or Rose Art um, washable markers. So for this, Sharpie is actually not a good idea for this type of project. Um, when we get to the drawing part, you can use Sharpie, but for coloring and painting your coffee filter, you should use one of your um, regular washable markers. Okay, so I got myself some fresh water in my jar because I'm gonna use some different colors. 
And so what you're gonna do is just color your coffee filter like this. Whatever colors you want. You might have to hold the coffee filter down a little bit like this while you're coloring because it, it doesn't want to stay flat. It keeps wanting to curl up a little bit, doesn't it? So this way is gonna take you a little bit longer, but I wanted to show you just in case you don't have watercolor paints at home. I think probably most of you do, but just in case, I wanted to show you how you can do this with marker. Maybe you wanna try both ways, even if you have watercolor paint at home. Maybe you wanna try one with watercolor paint and one with marker like I'm doing. All right, so I'm doing orange and I'm doing yellow and I'm doing, I'm making this one very, very colorful. Maybe a little bit more purple. Okay, so maybe some more yellow. You don't have to fill the whole thing up with color, but I would say most of it. Let me get another orange here. Let's do some more orange. Okay, so I think most of it is filled with color, right? All right, so now this one is drying. I'm gonna put it on top of my, maybe I'll try to slide it over just a little bit. Still wet, it's very delicate. See that? Okay, so I'm gonna take my paintbrush and I'm just gonna wiggle my wet brush around. So I'm getting all that marker wet. And since they're washable markers, they're water-based markers, the marker starts to break down a little bit and spread out like paint. And the more, you, if you have it on wax paper, the more the color will stay, the more bright and bold it'll be. If you have it on just newspaper like I have there, the newspaper will absorb some of the color and it won't be quite as bright. It'll be a little bit more soft, but that's okay. All right, so I'm gonna let that dry and you need to let yours dry. I really don't recommend touching it or picking it up until it's completely dry. So let's give it a little time to dry. So it takes quite a while for this to dry on its own. So you can either just pause the video and go do something fun and wait for it to dry. Or if you'd like, maybe your mom or your dad or grandma or grandpa or whoever is helping you can get a hair dryer and you can help dry it with a hair dryer on low like this. Okay, so I had it on low and I just waved it around a little bit, but that's something you would need some help with. And that will just speed it along to dry. Or you could just wait for it to dry and just go do something fun, like I said. Now, once it's completely dry, we're going to use some scissors and we're gonna cut it right in half. So very carefully, you're gonna cut it right in half. Now I have big scissors. You probably have your own kid size scissors, which is great. Okay, now that I have two, I have two halves, I'm gonna put them together like this. And guess what? I'm gonna cut them in half again, both at the same time, watch. See how I cut it in half again? And now how many pieces do I have? That's right, I have four pieces. 
All right, guess what? Now we're gonna cut each one of these in half again. So see the piece I have right now? I'm gonna cut it in half one more time until I have this small triangle shape. Now, your coffee filters might not be as big as mine, so you might have smaller pieces, or you might not have to cut it as many times as I did, because my coffee filters are pretty big. But I'm taking each piece, and I'm cutting it in half. And then that's all the cutting we're gonna do. We're not gonna do any more cutting. So how many pieces do we have? Let's see, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight pieces. Okay, now we're ready to make our sailboats. Okay, so we need a piece of paper. And here's two pictures of sailboats that I already made. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a line right across our paper, but we're gonna use pencil to do it first. And this line is a very special line. You know what that line is called? It's called a horizon, a horizon line. And a horizon is where the earth meets the sky. Or in our picture, it's, it's, it's where the water meets the sky. So we're gonna draw just a straight line right across our paper like that with pencil. Try not to press hard with your pencil. Okay. And next, we're going to start drawing our sailboat. Now, if you don't have coffee filters at home and you weren't able to paint coffee filters with me, you can just start by drawing a big triangle. Remember, we're gonna draw a triangle just like this. Now this one's a little bit curved because of the shape of the round coffee filter. But um, a triangle has three sides. So, one, two, three, so a big triangle. So if you don't have a coffee filter and if you didn't paint one, you can just draw a big triangle like that, okay? But if you do have, if you did paint a coffee filter, instead of drawing it, you don't have to draw that, you can just glue your triangle. You can pick two of your favorites so see how this one looks a little more purple and blue and this one looks a little bit more red and blue. So we're gonna do two sailboats on our picture. So we're just gonna use a little bit of glue. You might have a glue stick or you might have Elmer's glue. You guys know what kind of glue I have, right? Tacky glue, that's right, see, tacky glue. All right, and then I'm gonna glue the other one on. So again, if you don't have coffee filters and you weren't able to paint one, that's okay. You can just draw a triangle and then you can color it with colored pencil or a marker. Now we're gonna do some drawing and some coloring. And I'm gonna use a blue Sharpie, but you don't have to use a Sharpie. You can just use your regular Crayola or Rose Art markers like that. Um, but now that my the top part of my sailboats are on my paper. I'm going to trace over this line in blue because I want it to look like blue water. And I didn't want the marker to show through my sailboat, so that's why I waited. Okay, and now I'm going to draw the bottom of my boat, so I need a brown marker. Okay, and I'm going to just draw a little line underneath my boat like that, underneath my sail. This is my sail for my sailboat. And then I'm gonna draw a long line. It's gonna be the same size as the bottom of my sail. So just as long as that is, I'm gonna draw another line right underneath it. It can be a little curved if you want, or it can be straight. And then I'm gonna draw two lines straight down, but I'm not gonna draw the bottom of the boat yet. And I'm gonna explain why in a minute. 
So that looks kind of funny right now, I know. But what I'm going to do next is go back to my blue marker and I'm going to make some waves. Have you ever drawn waves before? Here's how the waves look in my picture. And if I turn it upside down, remember when we drew clouds? We did frown, frown, frown. And then for the bottom of the cloud, we did smile, smile, smile. So see those curved lines? That's how we're gonna do our waves, with curved lines, just like that. So I'm gonna put a wave right here. So it's gonna look like smile, 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 smile. It's all smiles in this picture. So I'm gonna do some more smiles here. Smile, 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 smile. Okay, except for I wanna wait to do waves here because I wanna do my other boat. So here I'm gonna draw another little line straight down. Then I'm gonna draw another line. Should be about as long as your sail. I'm gonna come down with two lines and I'm gonna stop. I'm not gonna draw the bottom of the boat because I'm gonna put a wave there. So here's my wave. Smile, 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 smile. Maybe I'll put one more wave here. Smile, 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 smile. And one more here. Okay. So now I'm gonna color my boat and I'm gonna take a brown colored pencil and I'm gonna fill in the bottom part of the boat. And I'm gonna stop when I get down to the wave. So see where I'm stopping? I'm stopping when I got to the wave in the water. And now it looks like our boat is floating in the water. So I'm gonna color this one. Now I'm going pretty fast. So you can take your time, pause the video whenever you need to so that you can draw your waves and you can color your boat because I know it will probably take you a little bit longer. So there is my boat. I'm gonna color my water blue in just a minute, but first I'm gonna make a sun in the sky. So maybe a big yellow circle, and maybe I'll draw some rays of sun, rays of light coming out of the sun. I'm sure you've all drawn a sun before. And I'm also gonna add, I forgot that I wanted to add some flags to the top of my sailboat. So let's add some flags together. Okay, so what shape are the flags? Did you say triangle? If you did, you are right. The flags are just going to be some triangles, but notice how the triangles are kind of on a on a on its side. They're going sideways like that. So I just did two two triangles like that for my flags and then I'm going to color them. Let's see, what color should I color them? How about this purpley blue color? Dark bluish purple. Okay. okay, so now I have flags on my boat. And then before I color my water, there's one more thing I put in my sky. Did you see my birds? flying in the sky. Have you ever drawn birds like that before? They look like birds that are very far away flying in the sky. So all I did is I took a black marker and I just made two little lines. Let me show you really close. So I just did a line like that and a line like that. It's just a tiny little, can have a little curve to it. A little curved line like that, like a little smile, and another little smile. Little curved line, little curved line. See how tiny that is? So they look like birds far away. Okay, now all I need to do is color my water, and I'll do that on fast motion with a little music, and you can watch me. a lot of 
coloring, wasn't it? Um, I just decided that the marker that I used for my waves was too light. It's hard for me to see it now with all my coloring. So I'm going to go back over it with a darker, I'm going to use a darker um, marker like this. There we go. Now I can really see my waves, right? So you want to make sure you can see your waves. Maybe I'll go over my horizon line again. Remember that word, horizon line? Okay, so now you can see my waves much better. Okay, so there's one more thing I wanna show you boys and girls. You probably have extra pieces left over unless you've made lots of pictures of sailboats, which is what you certainly can do. You can keep making pictures of sailboats and that would be good practice. I bet you would get really good at making sailboats if you did that. But I wanted to show you a couple examples of other things you can make using these triangles from your coffee filter. I made a flower, one, two, three, four, five, using five of those pieces. And I also made a butterfly. How many pieces did I use there? One, two, three, four. Now, if you didn't have a coffee filter and you just drew your triangles, you, could, you can still do this by drawing your triangles in your butterfly or in your flower petals. But I just wanted to show you some other fun things you can do with your leftover pieces. So I hope you had fun making sailboats with me today. And I can't wait to see your artwork. Have a great week, everybody.